What's happening, everybody? Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter, and oh my god, it's an NBA video. I don't think I've ever done an NBA video on this channel before, so I wanted to break in and do something a little bit different. MLB is the next one on the list, but this video is going to serve as my official complete NBA playoffs prediction. I'm going to do the NBA playoffs here in the same way that I would do the NCAA basketball tournament in that I'm not going to go round by round. I'm going to start with the first round and I'm going to run you all the way to my NBA finals. And I've got this all set out. I know who my NBA champion is. So we're going to go through the Eastern and Western conference first round matchups and bring it home all the way to the NBA finals. First thing you might notice is, hey, you don't see my pretty face except for the picture I have splashed up here. Well, I wanted to do something a little bit different that would set my first NBA video apart from any of the other prediction videos I've done, like NHL or anything like that. So the way to set that apart is to not actually be on camera while I'm doing it. So just to kind of give you the voiceover. And in this way, I can show you the brackets for the Eastern and the Western conferences, and we can go through them sort of series by series as I make my predictions. And uh, there you go. You'll have a visual representation of exactly who I think is going to win what series. I should let you know, too, before we get started, I didn't put a ton of research into this because I'm not a huge basketball fan. A lot of these predictions are going on gut, so now that the preamble is over, let's get into it. We're going to start in the Eastern Conference, the Eastern Conference of the NBA Playoffs. The first round sets up like this. You have number one Miami Heat taking on number eight Milwaukee Bucks, number four Brooklyn Nets taking on number five Chicago Bulls. Number three, Indiana Pacers, taking on number six, Atlanta Hawks. And number two, New York Knicks, taking on number seven, Boston Celtics. So we're going to start at the top there with the Heat v. Bucks series. I think this one's pretty easy. I got the Heat winning this series in a sweep. So I think they sweep the Bucks right out of town, four straight games, to move on from that series. Uh, four versus five, the Nets versus Bulls series. I actually like the Bulls in this series. I understand that that would be an upset, but I'm going to take the Bulls to win that series in seven games and knock the Nets out in the first round. I know that's disappointing for Nets fans, but that's the way I see it. Number three versus number six, that's the Pacers versus the Hawks. I really like what I saw, a little bit that I saw from the Pacers this year. I'm going to give the Pacers that series. I'm going to say they take out the Atlanta Hawks in five games. And going to the 2v7 series, the New York Knicks versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, despite everything that's been going on in Boston lately, and I know that teams can often take that and use that as a rallying cry in sports. It's one of the great things, one of the things I love about sports. I don't see the Celtics getting past the Knicks here. I think the Knicks are too complete a team. I'm going to take the New York Knicks to win that series in six games. So that's going to set up your second round matchups here in the Eastern Conference of number one Miami Heat versus number five Chicago Bulls and number two New York Knicks versus number three Indiana Pacers. So we start with the 1v5 series, the Heat versus the Bulls. I expect the Bulls to have some magic in the first round, but not in the second round. I'll give the Bulls the benefit of the doubt in taking one of those games, but I got the Heat moving on in that series in five games. Now the 2v3, New York Knicks, Indiana Pacers. I think this is going to be a real tight series. It's going to be close games that a couple of them, I think the Pacers are going to be able to win on late three-pointers. I've got the Knicks winning game seven of that series. Knicks in seven games to go on to the Eastern Conference Championship. Eastern Conference Finals, number one Miami Heat versus number two New York Knicks. Heat are too good. Um... I think this is going to be a series that is determined by who's the home team and the home team winning the majority of the games, but I've got the Heat winning this series in six games to be the Eastern Conference champions and move on to the 2013 NBA Finals in the East. We're going to move over to the West now in the first round. The first round Western Conference matchups look like this. The number one ranked Oklahoma City Thunder taking on number eight Houston Rockets. Number four, Los Angeles Clippers versus number five, Memphis Grizzlies. Number three, Denver Nuggets taking on number six, Golden State Warriors. And number two, San Antonio Spurs taking on number seven, LA Lakers. Now, originally I had one team winning the West. That is not the team that I'm going to be telling you here in just a minute that I now think is going to win the West. So I think the West is that close 
and I flip-flopped here between two teams. Let's take a look. In the 1v8 series in the West, Thunder versus Rockets, uh, I'll give the Rockets the benefit of the doubt in winning one game here, but I'm going to take the Thunder to win that series in five games. We move on to 4v5, Los Angeles Clippers, Memphis Grizzlies. The Clippers are really this season proving to be the showtime team in Los Angeles. I think the Grizzlies have a chance to win a game or two here. I'm going to take the Clippers to win this series in six games. Number three, Denver Nuggets versus number six, Golden State Warriors. There's a lot of chatter amongst uh, NBA quote-unquote analysts that this is the series where there is ripe for an upset. I hear a lot of people going with the Warriors. I'm actually going to go with the favorites. I'm going to take the Denver Nuggets to win that series. I think the Warriors can win a couple of games, so I'm going to give that series to the Denver Nuggets in six games. And the 2v7, the San Antonio Spurs, Los Angeles Lakers, Quite frankly, Spurs are too big, Spurs have too much for them, Spurs defense is too good. I'm going to take the Spurs to beat the Lakers in five games. So in the second round of the Western Conference, I see it. The number one Oklahoma City Thunder will take on the number four Los Angeles Clippers, and the number two San Antonio Spurs will take on the number three Denver Nuggets. Now in that 1v4 matchup, the OKC Thunder and the LA Clippers, I'm going to take the Thunder again. I just think Thunder is too good a team, scoring too many points, defense is very, very good, uh, arguably the second best defense in the West, second or third. I'll take the Thunder to win that series in six games. And 2v3, Spurs versus Nuggets, I think that's going to be a fantastic series. Nuggets arguably have better offense, Spurs for sure have a better defense. I think defense wins championships here. I'm going to take the Spurs to knock the Nuggets out, but I think that series is going to seven games. So I will take Spurs in seven. That sets up a Western Conference championship of the number one ranked Oklahoma City Thunder and the number two ranked San Antonio Spurs. If you look at the numbers here, the defenses are pretty similar, but the Thunder, I think, have a bit better of an offense. Well, you know what? I'm going with the Spurs. I just got a gut feeling about the San Antonio Spurs team, and I think the Spurs take out the OKC Thunder, winning Game 7 on OKC's home court, Spurs in 7 to win the Western Conference and go on to the NBA Finals. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my NBA Finals. From the Eastern Conference, I have the number one ranked Miami Heat, and from the Western Conference, I have the number two ranked San Antonio Spurs in a series that goes down to seven games. The San Antonio Spurs beat the Miami Heat. They deny the Heat their second championship with their purchased threesome. The San Antonio Spurs win the 2013 NBA championship in seven games Spurs all the way. That's what I'm going with. I was positive that a team from the West was going to win the NBA championship this year. I'm uh, confident that the Spurs are going to beat the Thunder. So I'm going with the Spurs. I'm going to stick with my gut and I'm going to say San Antonio Spurs win the NBA championship. How do you see the playoffs going? I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Uh, If you want me to do more NBA videos, please let me know that as well. That's going to be it for me. Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. You heard it here first. San Antonio Spurs, 2013 NBA Champions.